Thank you. Um, this is Vive XR Elite. It's our most versatile XR device to date. It's great for gaming, fitness, entertainment, productivity, the metaverse, and more. And you heard me correctly. Gaming is a perfect way to use this device. It's an all-in-one headset that's great for consumers. Let's take a closer look. So we set ourselves the task of combining the best of Vive Focus 3 and Vive Flow to create Vive XR Elite. It's a big challenge because Vive Focus 3 was for enterprise while Vive Flow addressed a new category that was interested in ultra portability. And Vive XR Elite does not replace either device. It sits firmly in the premium consumer XR space. It's lightweight, it's portable, comfortable, and a powerful all-in-one, which is perfect for standalone experiences and also can be connected to easily to a PC for PC VR experiences. And we have physical controllers as well as hand tracking built in. And of course, part of the names comes from it being more than just VR. We have a full color RGB pass-through camera for smooth mixed reality experiences. This opens up a whole new dimension. You can learn new skills like playing a musical instrument, you know, play games that incorporate your natural surroundings, having some environmental awareness if you're in a more passive experience, and for those who want to do work, you can have multiple virtual screens while still having real-world access to your keyboard and mouse. And there are so many ways to use MR. We have developers here who are really excited to, you know, about the possibilities of incorporating uh, MR and VR in such a compact device. And here from the side view, you can see that we had this really balanced design with the battery at the back acting as a counterweight, and we'll talk a bit more about that shortly. We, did, we considered the design a lot in terms of the fit. And there are benefits of having a head strap over the top, but it also makes life a bit more difficult for people with different hairstyles. Right? This approach is far more inclusive and generally also less annoying. I've said it's compact, but what does that really mean? The first reason you know, that's really important is immersion. Immersion isn't just about the visuals or the graphics. It's the whole experience, and that includes comfort. Weight and weight distribution is key. With the center of gravity aligned to where your neck is, it means that you can turn your head effortlessly. It doesn't feel like there's something hanging off the side of your head. And weighing in at just 625 grams, including the battery at the back, that's lighter than the current generation of iPad Pros. And with this comparison, you can see how our innovation has pushed the limits of what's possible and just how different this form factor is. And the next question that you'll naturally have is, what can you even fit inside that compact frame? We'll start with the visuals. So the visual impact here is sharp and fluid. With a wide 110 degree field of view, 2K, 2K per eye, that's 4K in total. And this results in a really crisp image running at a smooth 90 hertz. It's one of those things that you have to really experience to really truly appreciate, and especially the comfort as well. And I hope everyone here gets a chance to try it today and also in the coming days. And of course, to ensure that we have a light and compact headset, we're using our own special pancake lenses as well as custom LCD panels. All of this is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 platform. And it also comes equipped with 12 gigabytes of RAM. Our heritage from the smartphone days means that we all know how to get the best out of all of our components. And our thermal management has always been excellent. And that was evidenced with Vive Focus 3, which also used the XR2 platform. And we've evolved lessons uh, there when it came to thermal design with things like really high efficient copper heat pipes and a lot of other clever tricks as well. And finding that visual sweet spot takes more than just good specs. We have an adjustable dial on both of those lenses to allow people to just take their glasses off and still enjoy a sharp picture. It's worth noting what I said about accessibility earlier. Most VR and XR headsets don't have adjustable diopters and often don't even accommodate glasses wearers at all. As an industry, we have to continue to break down those barriers for users so we're not forcing them to have uncomfortable experiences. We've also built in adjustable IPD sliders to help you optimize your experience as well. You can see we placed it on the outside of the headset and that makes it easier to find the best settings for you because you don't have to remove the headset each time you want to adjust it. There's also a fabric um, uh, gasket that's removable. It's magnetically attached so you can just take it off to clean it or just switch out a new one. So what about the tracking? This is an all-in one. So we have four wide field of view cameras powering our incredibly, incredibly precise inside-out tracking algorithm. We built on the success of Vive Focus 3, 
which is used everywhere from medical uh, to training to arcades, where tracking is vitally important. Vivex R Elite comes with industry leading tracking with exceptional six off spatial accuracy. And of course, we'll have hand tracking enabled for both MR and VR experiences, and we're working with developers to integrate it into their apps. That's not all. If we zoom into the center, you'll see two sensors. One is a depth sensor, and one is a high resolution color RGB camera, which has that new, whole new uh, uh, dimension of immersion. The depth sensor will also help with accurate tracking, positioning, and also help scan a 3D map of your surroundings. And this works with the color RGB camera to deliver next level mixed reality experiences. And those mixed reality experiences and those use cases are increasing rapidly, whether it's for gaming, arts, education, or productivity. And we're at this point with technology where we can incorporate VR and MR cameras to work really smoothly together. As I said, for input options, you can use either physical controllers or hand tracking. And we have the same controllers here as we had for Vive Focus 3, which we've had great feedback about. They're comfortable to use. They're, they have a really intuitive layout, and most importantly, they have excellent tracking. We also have the benefit of minimizing our environmental impact by using the same uh, manufacturing processes. You can even use Vive Wrist Tracker, which we built for Vive Focus 3, and this allows you to have enhanced hand tracking, but also allows you to track other objects in XR as well. For example, putting tracking uh, props inside a game. And you're going to get an experience with that at CES as well. When it comes to audio, we've taken audio to another level. We've made improvements to um, volume, bass, clarity, balance in terms of the EQ, audio directionality, it's also half the distance to your ears compared to Vive Flow. And all of this adds up to a better clarity in any XR experience and really adding that next level of immersion. We've also equipped it with dual microphones with both noise and echo cancellation to capture crisp, uh, crisp input for effective communication. And as I said, let's revisit that battery. Like Focus 3, it's placed on the back of the head for the perfect weight balance. And it's curved for optimal comfort as well. And it's also removable and hot swappable, which you can change it to another power source or just switch it to a different battery. You can expect up to two hours of full and active use off a single charge. And it also supports 30 watt fast charging through USB power delivery. We've also heard how much people love the form factor of Vive Flow because of the flexibility it gives. It's especially great for things like traveling. You can use it on a plane or even at home on a couch, because you don't have to have a battery pushing your head forwards, affecting how you sit. So we're bringing that to Vive XR Elite as well. And in this configuration, the glasses weigh just 273 grams, including the face gasket. Simply remove the battery and fit the arms, and there's a USB-C connector on the other side, which you can plug into a power source like a battery bank, or even just a power adapter. It needs a slightly more powerful battery than Vive Flow, but your standard, uh, standard 18 watt power delivery battery bank will work and it's commonly very available. So with Vive XR Elite in this form factor, you have, the tr you have true portability and the versatility as well. It's also great for PC VR gamers. Um, so if you're doing things like flight simulators or racing simulators, because it's, in this lightweight configuration, it makes longer sessions even easier. So we've also made another step forward from our patented dual hinge design, as well as extending the arms and the curve of Vive XR Elite to help cut the head, just like the front and back of a traditional all-in-one. But you also just feel less pressure pressing on the side of your head and avoids putting all the pressure on, the, on your nose as well, and also accommodates even more head sizes. It adds even more comfort and options for how you can use Vive XR Elite. So that also means that we have this foldable hinge that you can simply fold it up and store into this carry case um, and you can carry around with you. You know, similar size to a Vive Flow or a, uh, a water bottle, just slightly bigger. And a device is more than just the technical specs and the hardware. It's about what it can do, how you have fun, what you can create, how you can work. We're working on bringing even more games and experience to Viveport, our content store. And this is the biggest range of launch titles we've ever had, with over 100 new pieces of content in our launch window, with a, new, with a mix of newer experiences and games, and also the classics. We're bringing new VR games, like Hubris, and new MR modes to existing content, like Maestro or Unplugged, 
And of course, you'll be able to access PC VR content as well seamlessly from Viport and Steam VR as well, either connecting through a cable or wirelessly through Wi-Fi 6E. So you can have the best of both worlds. Once paired and connected with a PC, you'll be able to launch PC VR titles directly from the headset, and that means you can have access to this huge library of VR titles and content with low latency and great graphics. It can still stream from your Android phone to XR Elite, from a phone that supports Miracast and HTCP 2.2 for protected content, it means you can have a private 300-inch screen that anywhere, anytime, that can stream content from the likes of Disney Plus and even Netflix. You can stream content from, like, in games from uh, Fortnite on your phone as well. We're also revamping our launcher space. Make it easier and more immersive from the second you put on Vive XR Elite. You'll dive straight into Viveverse, which is our place in the metaverse, and from then, from there, you can simply slide around to other worlds and experiences. In Vive XR Elite, you'll enter your room in you know, this personal two-story uh, social space. This is where your adventures will start, and you'll be able to move objects around and customize how they're laid out. You'll have a simple living area to hang out and invite your friends, also a bookshelf that you can you know, launch your favorite X, uh, XR titles and games and experiences. Or you can glance over there at the gallery on the wall, which you use as portals to new worlds. And to help with keeping that work-life balance, you can go to the second floor and check out your agenda for the day and join meetings directly from there. We'll be making more updates to Viveverse in the coming months. So for people who, don't, who want to work in VR, we have an MR experience that can help their productivity. It's super easy to dive straight into XR into a meeting or even just do some work. Live XR Elite, you can have partial MR or full MR office, and it's got full, um, an intuitive... Um, it has intuitive touches like simply you know, defining a virtual table. And the visual quality is good enough that you can even see the details of the screen on your laptop or even your phone straight through the headset. And I also want to talk about HTC Vive's commitment to corporate and social responsibilities, um, especially when it came to making Vive XR Elite. One of the biggest leaps we made is in the packaging. It's 100% recyclable, made from 99% recycled materials, and all of that is 99.99% uh, 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 paper. And that 0.01% there is literally the plastic that's in the sticker seal keeping that box together, because you can't really make that out of paper. So the big question is, how much does it all cost? For the powerful and versatile Vive XR Elite, the full kit comes with the headset, battery cradle, two controllers, and will cost $1,099. Pre-orders will open up today, and we'll have various offers available diff across uh, different regions of the world. And I heard the woo, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's cheaper than uh, all the random rumors. <laughs> so we'll also have enterprise ava uh, pricing available in the future, and we'll have more on the enterprise side uh, at Mobile World Congress. And we're really excited to see that the future of XR. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you, everyone with one thing. Vive isn't interested in your personal data. Our business model isn't built on advertising. The organizations that rely on vacuuming up personal information and slicing and dicing it to advertisers, their only plan, their plan to growth is harvesting more and more personal data. And the more personal data a company has, the more others become interested in how they use it, and that's an increasing liability. And none of these companies will ever tell you how much your personal data is worth. If you want to sell your personal data, that's fine but you should be given full information and a fair price. So we hope to see everyone here coming back for demos um, and see just how good Vive XR Elite is. And we have a ton of developers here as well. And every single one of them, the first time they put on Vive XR Elite has said, this is the, most, this is the lightest and most comfortable headset we've ever worn. And I hope everyone gets to try that out.